April 23rd, 2020. Thursday of the second week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, But out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the second week of Easter. Today's reflection is entitled, No Rationing of the Spirit. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. At wartime, when soldiers have a scarce amount of food, they have to ration it. They only eat small measured portions each day so that the food will last as long as possible. If they do not, they may run out and starve. What if this were the case with God and His grace? What if the Holy Spirit were to say to us, Now, I'm going to help you to a limited degree. Once you use up the grace I'm offering you, you're on your own. Ouch! That would be problematic. Of course, the good news is that God acts in the completely opposite way with us. He commits to a full outpouring of the Holy Spirit and offers all the grace we could ever need or want. The problem is that we often ration His grace anyway. We don't do this because we believe God is limited. Rather, we often do it because we are afraid to let God unleash His almighty power in our lives. Reflect today upon what your life would look like if you let God do whatever He wanted with you. What would change? How would your daily life, your relationships, your words, your actions, and your future be different? Intellectually speaking, we know it's right to fully embrace the will of God in all things. But when it actually comes to doing it, there is often much hesitancy. It may be 
fear of the unknown. Or it may be that we do not fully want to change. Whatever the case may be, God is offering you an unlimited amount of grace by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's up to you to decide if you will ration or not. Let us pray. Lord, I do want to let you do whatever you want in my life. I want to be fully immersed in your grace. Help me to say yes to you no matter what that leads to and help me to trust in this glorious yes you are calling me to make. Jesus, I trust in you.